price and volatility charts are provided with your option view subscription. To bring up a price chart, just highlight the symbol you're interested in, click the price button up in the top left, and that will bring up the price chart. On the top left, let's go through these buttons one at a time. Currently, we're displaying the price bars. We can bring in the volatility uh, items as well. This brings up the statistical volatility with the red line, and the blue line reflects the 30-day implied volatility. Let's remove that for now, and we'll come back to that. Moving across from left to right, we have the D for the daily bars. Weekly brings up the weekly bars. M brings up the monthly chart. We'll go back to daily. We have a button here that would allow you to make split adjustments. Sometimes you'll get a stock that is recently split. You just highlight the day, click this button, and it will bring up, we haven't clicked a bar yet, it will then bring up the split adjustment that you could input, and it will automatically make that adjustment within the chart. We can also highlight any day, click on the Edit Data button, it brings up a chart in which we can edit the price data or the volume data as well. Next, we can update data as of a specific date. This is the refresh screen. We can pick a date in the past and uh, have it refresh and bring in more recent data. Then we have the zoom in, zoom out buttons. Here we have the target button. Let's click that. This brings up a little rectangle that we can drag and drop and this will then create a price target and when we move the sides around notice that the price range and the date range are reflective of those sides of the of the rectangle these items get added throughout the program wherever there is a target that could be in your graphic analysis screen it could be in trade finder anywhere there's a target required this box would have the data and that, that gets updated in those portions. Let's remove that for now. Let's now go to the Show the Profit Zone. Let's bring up Microsoft. We can see here we have a covered call position. And I believe that the uh, stock has, yeah, we have profit in the stock currently. So if we were to now bring up the price chart, go to the Show the Profit Zone button, we'll then see the area in which the uh, current position would make money and at which point it would lose money. Let's go and input a proposed trade. We'll analyze T. Let's say that we're going to input a, a way out of the money distant bull put spread. So let's do a little uh, 10 lot here. And let's analyze this. Okay, no big surprise. We bring up the price chart, click on the show the trade. No, oh, that's the date, excuse me. Let's bring up the profit zone, and there we go. That's the profit zone in which we would make money on that uh, spread. Okay, very good. Let's close that up, bring back the price chart, and continue. We have a button here that allows us to bring up candlesticks or go back to price bars. E says that we're going to show earnings announcement dates. That's kind of interesting. Okay, here's a trade. Uh, this shows the trade dates in which we have uh, entered trades. Here we entered a trade, and here we're currently with a trade right now. Um, oh, that's the proposed trade that we put in. Okay. Well, that would be the uh, date in which we would take off the original trade. But whenever you click this, it brings up other trades that you've done in the past. And it would go all the way back to whenever you uh, put a trade on or exited. All right. Now, we come to the indicator buttons. Let's get rid of these. All right. So, we have two indicator buttons. One would show any overlaid indicator you've selected. This brings up the lower chart indicator you've selected, and here is where you select the denoted indicators you want to see with those automatic buttons. So our chosen overlaid indicator could be one of these five items. 
Let's go to moving averages. See that we have a 60-day exponential moving average we can look at. Our chosen lower chart could be a 14-day RSI. We could make it a 15-3 stochastic. Let's do that for now. And then let's go ahead and show the overlaid 60-day moving average. And then let's bring up the lower chart, which would be the stochastics. Now, I can right-click here and on the fly go to my 14-day RSI, etc. See that? Okay, and I could just remove those from the screen or add them back just like so. Again, that's the setup screen. And then we finally come to the trend line button. Let's click on the pencil. Note that we can now draw trend lines. And even when we go back to W or M, those trend lines remain. And when we close out of the price chart and bring it back, those trend lines are uh, remembered. All right. I want to now go to the um, volatility. So I'm going to bring up the V for display volatility. This then brings up the red line statistical volatility. The blue is the implied volatility and the 30-day volatility number. And I want to describe these items up above. These appeared when I click the uh, display volatility. You see that? Okay. Now, what you're looking at here is DVO, that's dollar volume of options traded in thousands of dollars. That means that we have 11 million uh, traded per day on average. SV is statistical volatility and IV is implied. These numbers are the percentile rankings of the current position of SV and IV. Now, what do these mean? In this case, and, and I'm going to go and take a look here. Um, Let's go to uh, settings. We'll go to preferences, volatility chart, and I like to have mine on a one-year look back. All right. What that means is, is if we look back over the last year, okay, from in this case June to June, our current position of implied volatility is that we are at the 69th percentile. Okay. What that means is, if you were to uh, let's just take our current level and go straight back all the way to June. What we would see then is that implied volatility has been higher than our current level approximately oh, 31% of the time. It's been underneath our current level 69% of the time. So we are at the 69th percentile level currently. That's going back on a one-year look back. Now, I would encourage you if you're going to use that at all, please go to Settings, go to Preferences, go to Volatility Chart, and see what that, what that uh, currently is in your program. Because if it's blank, which I believe is the default setting, okay, when you bring this up then, the numbers will be much different if you are by default looking at all the data in the screen going way back. It will be much, much different. So please do review that if you are going to look at the percentile rankings at all. And also this has something to play in with the survey feature we'll get to later. All right, finally, with the um, volatility brought in, you can go to the bottom left corner, bring up historical volatility averages, and you can see statistical and implied uh, volatility, the averages from three weeks going out to six years. Also, for those of you advanced option traders into the SKUs and everything, let's bring up the M button, multiple IV lines. Here you can then see, I'm going to left click, and you'll see 30, the blue is 30, 60, 90, one year and two year volatility levels. So as we go back in time, you can see how that cone shifts around a little bit. Some of it has to do with the movement in price. Uh, certainly is going to affect the volatility uh, uh, levels as we move forward in time and different things happen like earnings, etc. Okay, let's get rid of that. And by the way, you see these little spikes in volatility and the big plummets? Let's do something interesting. Let's go bring up the earnings announcement dates. And look at this. Whenever we have an earnings announcement, implied volatility plummets. You see that? No big surprise there because when earnings come out, 
the event is over and all that anticipated hype going into the implied volatilities now bleeds out and we have that big plummet that we see there okay so that's kind of accounting for the big uh, uh, reductions in IV that you see all right that concludes this presentation of price and volatility charts